Alright folks, today we are grilling this awesome looking sweet soy bison flank steak. It's time to grill. Today's marinade for our bison flank steak will get started with fresh ginger. It's kind of an Asian way marinade or Asian style marinade, that's why you need those ingredients. If you want to check out the whole list of ingredients and measurements, make sure to check the video description. You will need about one and a half tablespoons of fresh chopped ginger. So we are cutting smaller dices and we will add those later into the marinade. The marinade basically consists of ketchup, approximately the same amount of soy sauce. Give it a good mix. I already had a marinade close to that with ribs, works pretty good. Add the fresh chopped ginger, white wine vinegar or sherry and brown sugar. Make sure to whisk again until the complete sugar is dissolved. Here is your marinade. Make sure to take four spoons out of it and keep it later on for glazing. We're gonna put the flank steak into the marinade, but we won't use the marinade later on. That's why we have to save some for the glaze later on. I took about four spoons out of that. And then let's check the flank steak. We are using bison flank steak today. It's from my favorite online butchery, gourmetfleisch.de, 660 grams, and it has a different color than beef. Now you have to take a sharp knife and cut over your flank steak. No pressure, just slight and gentle cutting along the top of the flank. This cuts a little bit through the silver skin you see here. After grilling, it's almost gone. And of course, it adds more surface to the flank steak that you can add more marinade and flavor to your meat. That's basically the idea of that trick and technique. Throw the flank steak into the marinade Give it a good mix and let that sit in the refrigerator for approximately four to six hours. Six is better than four. This is how it looks like after six hours. Now pour off most of the marinade. Otherwise it might burn too soon. And then throw this on direct heat. We are using the infrared cooking zone of my Landman Triton gas grill today. It's called Max Zone and we have put the infrared cooking zone on lowest heat possible because we want to watch the um, surface of the flank steak. Otherwise, it might burn too soon. We have still a little bit of that marinade on our flank steak and the sugar might burn quickly. That's exactly why we are flipping it every three minutes. And after flipping it the second time, we are hiring up the temperature of the infrared zone. The moment you think you have a nice golden color and it's brown enough, not black, that is important, take off the flank steak and leave it on indirect heat with a closed lid. The lid says 120 degrees Celsius is grilling temperature. After approximately 10 minutes, we are adding the saved glaze. And then close the lid until the flank steak has the internal temperature that you like. We are headed for 52 degrees Celsius, which is blue to rare. I know that a lot of my viewers prefer medium, so just make sure to leave it until it has the internal temperature you like. As I mentioned, the bison color is different, so no worries if it does not look the same than your beef flank steak. All in all, I really enjoy that kind of meat. It's full of flavor. Now it has a sweet and soy flavored crust. I really like that. Just make sure to sprinkle over some salt flakes before you give this a shot. Please make sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. That would be amazing. We're seeing us again in the upcoming days, I promise. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.